why would you use the extended fat file system over NTFS? Well, basically, I'm going to do a comparison here on the 64 gigabyte um, flash drive. I've got the extended fat option and NTFS option. Many of you might have used it already. If you haven't, well, there are advantages and disadvantages, obviously, to using the extended fat. One of them, of course, is the overhead that NTFS has. There's much more overhead as opposed to the extended fat, which makes it leaner. Obviously, the performance is supposed to be faster with the extended fat on flash drives. And um, one thing that you want to use it for is for a device, a machine that has limited processing power. Flash drives make a great um, you know, candidate for this. If you're transferring files that are larger than 4 gigabytes in size, then you want to use these file systems, obviously, because FAT32 has limitation. But NTFS has a wider support when it comes to operating systems than the extended FAT. There's a lot of patches and uh, limitations there for the extended FAT. However, you know, here is a comparison on the limitations when it comes to maximum volume size. You can see here the max file size in terabytes as opposed to the exabytes. And of course, here are some more disadvantages of the extended FAT. Now, I'm, I'm going to run some benchmarks here and let that decide for you if you're not convinced 100% on which one you would use. Here we are with the extended FAT formatted uh, flash drive. You can see here the crystal disk benchmarks for the sequential read and write compared now to the NTFS um, benchmarks. Now we're looking at the Addo disk benchmark. Again, with extended FAT, you can see here maximum 160 and 262 on the read. So write and read is actually faster on the Addo disk benchmark that I did when I formatted it to NTFS. You can see here that on the NTFS, it had a limitation there of 121 for the write and 259 for the read. I mean, you might not notice it, but it is a difference. It is a considerable difference, especially now when I did a copy. I copied an 8 gig file from my hard drive to the um, flash drive that was formatted extended fat and you can see there the size the time and the transfer rate 104 megs per second now when I formatted this to NTFS and did the same transfer of the file it was actually slower and uh, you can see there it took you know a few milliseconds more obviously and the transfer rate was 97 megs per second so about 7 megs less so you can see there there are disadvantages which one will you choose on your next format um, are you convinced is this something that you want to try out? Got to be careful for compatibility, but it is getting better. Microsoft has a license on it, so obviously this is not an open source um, uh, file system. It is proprietary to Microsoft, and um, you do have obviously a, a license as an end user to use it, however, on your Windows operating system. Comment below, let me know what you think, and again, thank you for watching.